I'm Valeria Sanchez. March is Women History Month, and I went and talked to some teachers and asked them what women inspired them to become the teacher or the woman that they are today. Come and watch. Is there any woman that inspired you to become the woman or the teacher that you are today? So one of the women that I really admire is a writer named Judith Butler, and she talks a lot about feminist lit theory, and she's really important for not only women, but anybody in the um, gay, lesbian, trans, questioning community, um, because she talks a lot about what society expects us to do versus what we should be doing, and that which uh, fulfills us and makes us feel as a whole person, that rather than just being defined by our genders and our roles and our things that we're supposed to be doing uh, according to social standards. That's great, and you should look it up and learn more about her since it's a Woman History Month. Yeah, I believe the person that inspires me the most today would be Michelle Obama. Uh, she just wrote that book about having a story and having a voice, and she is one person who I believe has a strong voice that she has developed over time, and she doesn't let anyone stop her um, from going after what she wants. Even the, the haters that don't talk about her, she just keeps going. And um, I try to remember that each day. And it's not easy. It's, you have to always be aware of who you are as a person, recognize that you are loved. Um, you have to love yourself as well and stand up for yourself. And she does that, I think, so beautifully. So go Michelle Obama. Is there any woman that inspired you to become the, the great woman that you are today? Yes, Amy Cuddy. I follow her on, um, on Twitter, and I've seen her TED Talk. And it's all about um, inspiring women to be the strong women that we can be and are. Is there any woman that has inspired you to become the woman that you are today? Or do you think it's changed in the world that changed the history? Yeah, there are a few that have inspired me. I mean, when I was younger, of course, my mom and uh, my uh, grandmother, um, teachers too. But if I'm thinking of... Um, a country or a woman that has been famous in a certain country, I would say Rigoberta Menchu, who was a political activist in Guatemala, my home country, and she spoke um, against violence, against oppression of indigenous people. Uh, I believe that Costas Clayton, she was the superintendent in the Philadelphia School District. She inspired me to become a teacher. Um, I like the fact that she wasn't just about the uh, education of the children, she was about the holistic part of the children, including everything from um, coming to school, the safety in the neighborhood, also um, the children's appearances. Um, she made sure that they had clean clothes. Um, she actually went to their homes and you know, helped out with their parents and parenting. So she is someone who I really admire. Is there any woman that makes you want to do better? Um, as of right now, Abby Wambach and all the U.S. Women's National Team and what they're trying to do with soccer and improve the conditions for women, um, improve equality, and that right now the Women's World Cup is this summer and they're actually going to get bonuses just like men are getting bonuses, which makes me want to be and improve my game and just keep going with that. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Is there any woman that have inspired you to become the woman that you are today, or do you think that's important that we should look up to? Um, well, the first person I think of is my mom. My mom always supported me uh, with anything I wanted to do. She always wanted me to be the person who I am. Um, as an artist, the first person I think of is Mary Cassatt. She was a post-impressionism artist who was like one of the first women to get herself known in the art world. Um, the next artist I jumped to is Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo is very well known. Um, she was a very powerful woman, someone who put all of her thoughts and feelings into her artwork, and she really in inspired others. Thank you so much. Well, women have really been speaking up and getting their voices out in the past couple years. And it's been all over the news with the movements that have been going on. Um, Michelle Obama is, is a phenomenal woman. She has done a lot for our country. Her book is amazing. Um, she's very, a very inspirational woman to not only women today, but also young girls today. Um, she gets the voice out there for everybody. She, she promotes act an active lifestyle which I'm all about um, she's a very fit woman and I like to work out too so she she's very inspiring and she just sends a positive message to women and I think it's great um, and it, it's definitely she as well as other women have um, definitely allowed us to speak and speak our voices and really get the message out there is there any woman that have inspired you to become the woman that you are today uh, I think women in general writers revolutionaries musicians have all really inspired me to be 
loud with my voice and my opinion and to not back down just because I'm a woman. Um, women like uh, Harriet Tubman or Sojourner Truth or Ani DeFranco, uh, Emily Dickinson. Um, so yeah, those are a few. <laughs> there are so many. Uh, where to begin? Uh, I would say Elizabeth Cady Stanton. Um, she was an abolitionist and reformer of voting rights for women. Then I would move to Susan B. Anthony, who was a social reformer as well and fought for women's rights. And last but not least would be Mother Teresa because she was um, uh, selfless in giving to the people of India um, and was a, a model for what women can be in, in a different way in the way that she was. That's great. Thank you so much. Actually, she is a contemporary female from Nigeria. She is an author, and one of her essays called We Should All Be Feminists is really inspirational. She believes that both sexes, or all sexes, should have equal rights. Um, and there are so many women that come to mind when I think of Women's History Month. I think about Sandra Day O'Connor, uh, the first woman on the Supreme Court. I think about Elizabeth Loftus, who's doing great things in the field of psychology, which I teach. But honestly, to be really, you know, really sincere, on Women's History Month, I think about women in my own life, my mom, my grandma, people who probably won't have a book written about them, but mm -hmm. people who have inspired me, and they always said, get an education and follow your heart. So I think for Women's History Month, we should really focus on the women who are closest to us, our mothers, our sisters, our grandmothers, our aunts, our cousins, and just thank them. It's a great way to honor them on Women's History Month. Thank a woman that you know. Is there any woman that inspired you to become the woman, the teacher that you are today, or do you think that's changed in the world? Yes, there's many women that have inspired me um, over the years. One of the women that I'm currently teaching right now is an author named Jeanette Walls, and she is an author who um, grew up very poor and in a very unstable lifestyle. Her parents were very smart and they were intelligent, and in that sense they taught them well, um, but she grew up without food and without money was homeless. Um, she did overcome all of her struggles and became successful in life, which is something I really want to teach my students as well, um, to have motivation and determination to go after your dreams. She became successful. She wrote her own book, her life story, and I think it's really important to be able to teach that to my students so that they can hopefully see that even if you have struggles in your life, you can overcome them and become successful.